In this illustration, we will discuss about a ball sliding inside a cylindrical groove. Here you can see the figure shows a block of mass m which has a half cylindrical groove cut in it. From the top of groove, a small ball of mass m is released, and we are going to find the displacement of block when ball reaches bottom of this groove. Now, in this situation here, we can see when the ball reaches the bottom of groove as it is moving toward right, the block must move toward left because the center of mass must be horizontally at rest as no external force is acting on the system. So, here we can write as no horizontal external force is acting on system here displacement of center of mass in horizontal direction must be zero that means center of mass will be kept at rest so here we can see if a block displaces toward left by x this implies here we can write delta x of center of mass is equals to the ball goes toward right by a distance r so we can write we can make use of the relation m1 r1 plus m2 r2 upon m1 plus m2 so here we can write r1 the horizontal displacement of ball toward right is m multiplied by r minus x because the block displaces toward left by x so net displacement of ball toward right will be r minus x as block goes toward left by x so it is minus mx divided by m plus capital m and this should be zero as we have discussed no displacement in center of mass must be there in horizontal direction this implies simplifying this this relation we get x is equals to m r by capital m plus m that will be the result of this problem the displacement of uh, block toward the left due to the sliding of this ball.